Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. With your Rob O'Hare. Sprite Castle. Hey, welcome to another episode of Sprite Castle Plays. Uh, on this week's uh, episode, we are going to be playing, I would call this game a cult classic. Um, this is a 1984 game from Datasoft called Mancopter. So, and by the way, uh, before I, I even load this, I want to show you something. Uh, notice the games that are on this cell defense, uh, man copter, flip flop, load runner, dig dug and zone ranger. Uh, this is an actual disc or a disc image from, uh, my own personal Commodore 64 collection. So when I was a kid, even before I got my Commodore 64, I started buying, uh, blank floppies and I went over to Jeff's house and I copied his games, and then I went over to Andy's house, and I gave him copies of Jeff's games, um, and I copied his games and took them back over, and so I traded between the two, but uh, by the time I was done, I had probably 20 discs of software before I had my Commodore 64, and um, I realized that it was going to be impossible to find games when I started getting more and more floppy disks, and so I came up with a a numbering system. I started numbering all my discs. And um, so those first 20 discs may not be exactly in chronological order, but they were my first 20 discs. And so um, if you take a look here, this is floppy disk number two from my personal collection. This disc was, uh, this is my handwriting from probably 1985, I would guess. Uh, possibly 1986, but I think 1985. But if you look, on the B side, especially there, you will see those same games. That is Cell Defense, Mancopter, uh, you can see Load Runner, Zone Ranger, Dig Dug, and Flip Flop. So this is uh, the disc that this disc image that I'm playing right here was made from. So, uh, I, so I had Mancopter. Uh, and every time I say mancopter, I want to go mancopter, 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 like, <laughs> like, um, a monster truck rally, you know? Uh, so I definitely had mancopter, 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 uh, when I was a kid. Um, I think, uh, once you understand more about the game, it makes a little bit more sense. And so I'm, I'm going to explain a little bit to you, but I'd obviously have to save a little bit for the, the actual podcast too. So. Uh, you are uh, that fellow there in the lead in this little demo that's running right here. Um, in fact, if I switch over to the um, other view here, you can see the artwork. Uh, that's you and your man copter. Man copter, man copter. Uh, and you can see all the aspects of the game. There's a pelican up there. There are some thunderstorms. There uh, are other man copters chasing you. There's a squid and a mermaid and a shark and a whale. And those things are all important in this game. Uh, one thing I should explain about this game is that you don't have lives exactly, you have fish. And so uh, anytime that you crash, you will be rescued by a whale as long as you have a fish and you will give him a fish and the whale will help you uh, relaunch back up into the race. So if you're out of fish, the whale will not help you and a giant shark will eat you and that will be the end of your racing days. Um, there uh, are ways to get more fish. Sometimes pelicans have fish, and uh, if you touch one of those, you'll get a fish. But if a pelican doesn't have a fish, he will take one of your fish. Uh, there are um, the squids that come out of the water will take your fish. There's a pelican right there in the little demo that just went by. Um, but the mechanics of this game, uh, the game runs like Joust. And so, uh, very quick, I probably should have picked a quieter joystick because I've got my uh, uh, Epix uh, 500 joystick here and you're gonna hear uh, just how loud Mancopter is when I start playing here. So I'm kind of tangled up, let's get this there and there. And let's get started with a little bit of Mancopter. So uh, this is, a, I'll tell you one unique thing about Mancopter is that uh, it's a racing game where you race from right to left and I can't think of I, I can't think of any other games where you go right to left. It's almost always left to right, probably from a 
just feels natural uh, you know for i mean we read from left to right we look from left to right and uh, uh so it's very odd feeling to be racing in the opposite direction but uh, that is how things work in the world of mancopter 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 uh so as you can hear i'm having to do this uh throughout the entire race um uh up at the top you can see how many other racers i've passed um, and then if I wanted to boom, knock these guys out, I could. Now you only get 10 points. Uh, now there's a buoy. A buoy gives me bonus time for passing the buoy. Uh, I'm, I'm playing on the easy level. So a lot of times, uh, at least at the beginning of this race, you'll see these guys pretty much hold their line and you can kind of sneak above them or, uh, below them. And shortly here, you'll see them. Uh, I'll start encountering other racers that are trying to literally just knock me out of the sky. Uh, because that's the way things happen in the world of Mancopter, Mancopter, Mancopter. Um, <laughs> so this is uh, kind of Mancopter. Uh, you're going to see, again, this is the, uh, oh, there's a buoy, so you go past that. Now see that pelican there? He does not have a fish. And so if I had touched him... He would take one of my fish but if he did have a fish in his mouth you have to be really quick um if he did have a fish now see this guy behind me like he's trying to come not my mancopter mancopter out of the air um oh now this is a uh, uh if you run into trees like this you have to fly underneath it's kind of hard right there and this is almost like a it's almost like flappy bird like we're <laughs> You're trying to maneuver, you know, in between that. Uh, uh, so I don't want to go too fast. I did, well, I'll tell you one cool little touch uh, is that when I look backwards, notice that he looks over his shoulder like the, <laughs> the people behind him. <laughs> it's a strange little touch to add. Uh, now, see that guy? He just flew up right into my path. That was a... I call these guys kamikaze racers. That guy almost got me, actually. Um, all's fair in love and mancopter, mancopter, mancopter. There's another guy. Like, why would he do that? He's just trying to get me. Uh, there's a pelican. I couldn't really see if he had a fish or not. Oh, there's a guy that's going to try and take me out. Uh, now some of these guys, like this guy, I'm going to try to, if I could get enough speed to go under him, yes. Um, I'd rather, I, I don't really know if you're rewarded for... Maybe you get a bonus at the end of how many uh, uh, people that you pass. But really, the goal is to finish... Oh, no, it got me. So since I have four fish, you'll see the whale down there come, and he helps me out. And I give him a fish, and he lets me launch right off his face. Which seems like a fair trade, I guess. Oh, now that pelican, if you notice, he just touched me, and he stole one of my fish. Uh, but you see how fast that happened. You have to really be watching the, the front scan line there. Uh, and, I mean, if you're trying to go fast to win the race, the pelicans come really fast. There's another guy that's trying to get me. So on the uh, uh, easy level, uh, the spot of the race I'm at right now, you won't see very many um, mermaids or... Uh, there's another pelican. Stole my fish. Um, later on, uh, you'll see squids jumping out of the water, and squids will take, uh, two fish. Uh, maybe the squid just takes one, but then there's these little... I uh, stole another fish, so I've lost basically all my men from pelicans. Oh, and now that... so I touched that pelican. So now a whale will not come, and instead Jaws will come and eat me, and that is the end of my mancopter, mancopter, mancopter. <laughs> uh, let's give this one more go here uh, I probably should have done a harder that's a cool little animation too with those little waving flags that's interesting uh, there's a lot of early stuff in the Commodore uh, games where they would you know just do little animation things because they could I suppose um, there's a slight parallax effect I guess from those clouds which is kind of interesting just the bigger ones moving by more quickly, but uh, since they're all the same color, it's not a great uh, parallax effect, I suppose. Um, this game, uh, like I said, uh, when I called it a cult classic, 
I don't know that a lot of people remember this game from 1984, but the people that do love it. I mean, this game gets great reviews. It shows up on people's favorite lists. Um, I was really surprised how many uh, links and articles and reviews I was able to find uh, in regards to Mancopter, Mancopter, Mancopter. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a fun little game. It's kind of addictive. I mean, it's pretty simple, you know. You, you can see there's not a lot, especially on this easy level. Uh, there's not too much uh, terrain and stuff. On the harder level, I mean, you got these, you'll have clouds that have thunder and lightning that will, uh, the lightning will take you out. Uh, there's another buoy, so I get some more time. You can only uh, build your time up to uh, 99, by the way. I'm going to have to go under this guy if I can go with this guy. I'd rather get the credit for passing him, but uh, i right, come to the tree. See if I can stay out of the water. Look at that man copter go. Uh, I talk about this a little bit on uh, the episode of Sprite Castle, this week's episode, where I talk about Mancopter, Mancopter, Mancopter. But um, if I could change one thing about this game, I would change the name, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I, I don't think that they were had this in mind specifically, but, uh, you know, as, as we, uh, in 1984, Mancopter was, oh, got me. Uh, you know, it was a, a fair name, but uh, we've, we've moved to more uh, gender-neutral terms, and I certainly don't think that uh, the exciting sport of man-copter is, <sighs> or a fish thievery, like that guy stole my fish. Uh, you know, I mean, it could be a people-copter or a person-copter or personal-copter. I mean, there's a lot of different terms it could be. It could be, uh, you know, pedal pedal copter or something i don't know so uh it, it just it seems like a uh probably in 1984 nobody thought twice about it but uh, there's something about 2020 uh that it kind of jumps out uh at me but uh it doesn't take away from the game itself the game is fun as you can see and here i am uh about to have an encounter with this dude oh, he's trying to joust me made it under him but you can see, uh, it's really hard. Those pelicans, man, they start coming fast. So now, you're, like, you're in a, a a dilemma. Like, this guy's behind me. I've got to go faster to get ahead of him. But I'm going so fast that if I see a pelican, I'm not going to have time to react like that. And with that, my man-copter, man-copter, man-copter days are over. So... Uh, this is a fun little game. I hope you listened to this week's episode of Sprite Castle. Thanks to uh, my Mancopter pit crew. You can see those guys listed down there at the bottom for helping me keep my Mancopter afloat. In reality, those are my Patreon supporters. So thank you guys for supporting the show. Check out this week's podcast. And I um, uh, hope you enjoy listening. And I hope you give old Mancopter, Mancopter, Mancopter a little spin.